Hello, happy Monday, and welcome to another edition of my Make It Monday, where each week I stop by and uh, share with you some projects that I'm working on, um, or share with you some techniques that I've just learned that intrigued me and I wanted to um, share with you. Hopefully what I share with you today will inspire you to do something creative this week. Anyway, um, I appreciate you joining in, whether you're joining me live, um, or whether you're joining me on the replay, be sure to leave a message in the comment section below so that I can say hi back. Okay, so um, moving on with some simple projects today. As you know, I'm traveling, so I wanted to share with you how just, you know, even with minimal supplies, you can still create on the road. Okay, so without further ado, let me switch the camera around and let's get crafty. All right, let's get started. So this week, um, I brought with me one of the kits. It's um, a recent new kit, and it's called Colorful Kaleidoscope. And let me share with you the three cards that you can make, or the three designs you can make. So, isn't that beautiful? I love there's some foiling to it, and also it's um, raised up, so it gives it a really nice dimension to the card. So that's one of the cards. And here's another one. And here's the other one. Okay. So this is the colorful kaleidoscope that just um, just debuted, uh, maybe just maybe even just a month ago. And uh, but of course, you, you there's enough supplies to make nine. There's three of each design that you can make. So here we go. Show you. And one of the things I love about working with kids is that everything is self-contained. So if you are traveling, um, say if you are a snowbird, you know, going from the winter climates to the summer climates in the U.S., or if you're visiting relatives or camping out and you want to keep your crafting uh, continued, uh, a kit is the perfect, perfect solution. And it comes with everything. It comes with... Um, stamps, an ink spot, and um, embellishments and adhesives. See, these are the uh, die cuts that came with this particular set. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice. So this came with the kit. Of course, it comes with the um, die cuts for your um, sentiments. Okay. And of course, the cards, they're beautiful, aren't they? Right? And one of the fun things about these kits, they always contain some beautiful coordinating envelopes for you. So it's not your plain white envelopes. And what's even special is, ta-da, the back, the inside. They have envelope liners with designs that coordinate with <clears throat> excuse me, with your cards, okay? How special is it for somebody to open up the card and see this beautiful design in your envelope? Now, when I work with these kids, I'm always torn because these are just beautiful paper. See, it goes all the way down there. And so what I wanted to share with you today is how I um, break up the envelopes and use this as a designer series paper to add on more possibilities to my kit, okay? And for these cards, obviously we will just use the white envelopes, but we will use this to make more cards, okay? And of course, the kit comes with an acrylic block. For those of you who have been following me know that I had forgotten to pack my blocks and so for the longest time I've just been using one of these covers as my acrylic block. So when this kit came, I said, oh my goodness, thank goodness it came because this really has been a godsend for completing my projects properly. Okay, so let me show you um, the cards that I've, well, you know what? The first thing I need to do is, for those of you who are not familiar with how to um, open this up to use this paper, or you've been hesitating um, how, you know, not to ruin it or maximizing this, uh, let me show you, okay? Let me put these away. And uh, let's get going. 
going. Okay, so it helps with the stamping up trimmer, okay? And what I usually like to do is only cut out maybe, oh, what do you say, a quarter of an inch? Yeah, that should be good. So all you do is just slice one quarter here, okay? Slice one quarter here. And ta-da! Oopsie. You've opened it up. And this pretty much maximizes the footprint the, of this designer series paper. Okay? Because what let me show you. So there. Okay, so this is from that. And that's it. And what I usually do is I would go ahead and just cut out the, the pretty part. Okay. And what I also do is because there is a score line here and depending on the card, because sometimes you can hide the score line with ribbon, but since I am traveling, I don't have all my supplies. So having a ribbon here is not in the cards, <laughs> so to speak. I don't have ribbon to cover this. So what I did is I went ahead and sliced it off right at the score line. Okay, and there you go. So then basically I would have these pieces to work with. So what can I do with these? Basically for these pieces, if you have been um, collecting ideas for how to use um, strips of your designer series papers, these would work as well. So let me show you some of the cards that I've made. I'll kind of clear off the table here. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Now, before I go on, um, this is the um, ink spot that comes with this particular kit. But because I know what the coordinating stamping up colors are, um, and I felt it's a personal choice, of course, I felt that the gray granite is a little too light for my liking for my sentiments because I like to highlight um, the sentiments. So I came with two more ink spots. So I traveled with these, Night of Navy and Calypso Coral, because I knew that was one of the colors. And I, as I said, I liked a stronger colored um, sentiment. So that's probably the only other thing that I've added, I think, but we'll see. Okay, so if you follow Sarah Douglas, who's the CEO of um, Stamping Up, she recently shared a really quick and easy way to make cards uh, using strips of designer series paper. So this is one of them. So I was able to make a card like this, okay? Very simple, this is just one inch by three inch, and all you need is three strips, and this is our note card. And uh, it's a great way to use this, no um, to use up the paper with this note card because it's a smaller footprint. So you're, you're not really, you know, needing lots of things to uh, cover it up, so to speak. So this is one of the cards, okay? And here's another card that I made. So this one, I took advantage of like that big strip. And this, can you see what I used? Yep, that's the envelope flap. So I took advantage of the curved envelope flap and um, used it sort of like as a border. And in case you're wondering, this is one of the new embossing folders that I brought with me. You know, I love embossing folder. And I thought the design really coordinates well with the medallions. Don't you see? You know, the um, intersections kind of coordinate with this. So that's what prompted me to use this embossing folder for this card. What do you think? Do you think it goes well with it or you think I'm totally off? But I think it does. But anyway, so that's my interpretation. So that's one card. And another quick and easy way to take advantage of your embossing folder is to make up um, backgrounds. So let me show you this one. So again, this one is utilizing the big um, piece of um, the envelope and highlighting it with a mat. And um, I thought the white would be too boring because this is actually, you know, a very bold design, but I didn't want a very busy background either. So I kind of thought a compromise was needed. And in this case, I 
did a subtle background with this embossing folder. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me show you how I make that. So what you need, you know, it's just an embossing folder and just your ink spot and on the side where there's the line here. So you just go back and forth with this. And that's all. And now the idea is it's not a very crisp image. So if you're looking for a very crisp image, this is not a technique for you. But I wanted just a subtle look. So what I did was I just laid it on here. Okay. And I just gently moved around to get the ink on here. Okay. And let me lift it up. Oh, it's not lifting up. There we go. So there. See? It's a very subtle look. And of course, I purposely did not color the edges because I wanted it kind of a faded look. So what do you think? Very simple. Of course, I'll just clean it. Um, here. Just to show you how simple it is to clean that up, I just wipe it. And there you have it. There. So simple and quick background that you can get with your embossing folders. Okay? So that's that. Wait. Okay, so that's that I wanted to show you. And then also, um, you know, there was some talk um, about being in a creative rut. Um, and because, uh, you know, when you're traveling, you don't really have any, you know, a lot of stuff. So one of my go-to is to go through my files on sketch challenges online. And I've always turned to the Global Design Project uh, for their challenges because I really like some of the card designs that they have. So in this particular case, this was this week's design, and um, I thought it was perfect for what I needed to do with my envelope DSPs, right? Um, I see the little strips of paper here and a greeting. So this is what I did, right? This is my interpretation of this challenge. So um, what do you think? Now with this particular card, you'll notice that I also pulled out that wonderful new embossing folder pack that we just launched online. If you have not seen this, or have gotten this, you really must get this because these are, oh, where's the other one? Let me bring out the other one. So there. So these are the three embossing folders that are currently available online. They are such a workhorse. They are such a basic necessity for you. Um, you really need to get this. Um, as you can see, I've been, I've been using this over and over again for the weeks that I've been staying here in Mississippi. So, but anyway, so the reason I picked this one, again, if you look at the design, there's all these circles here. So that's what got me to thinking, oh, the circles would coordinate with that. So that's my train of thought. So um, I always like to share with you um, my thought process in helping you um, also trying to design how 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 I design my cards let's put it that way so I saw all the dots and I saw this embossing folder I'm like oh let me put them together and this is one of the new um, um, die cut it's the radiating radiating stitches as I think it's how it's called I love it and for this particular size let me once again take it out oh, where is it Yep, called Radiating Stitches. You need, really need to get this because it's, again, it's one of those basic items that you will not regret having in your stamping supplies. This particular one fits perfectly three times this particular stamp. Okay, see this one? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It fits exactly. I mean, these are little thrills in my life. Um, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you will know. <laughs> how little things like this really excites me that 
I was like, wow, it fits exactly. So that's what I did. So did the thank you, thank you, thank you, and I can't thank you enough. So there you go. So this saying is from this. So I masked out the thanks, and I just inked up the I can't thank you enough. Okay, so this is this card. Now, because, again, because I knew the colors of this particular kit when I was packing um, for my trip, I included some um, petal pink uh, background paper. I mean, you can never go wrong with having background paper. So I picked this up. And again, because of the, uh, what do you call it, the, the lines, because you've got lines here, I thought it went well. So anyway, what do you think? Okay, and another thing, <clears throat> and the last card I wanted to share with you is this particular card. I don't know about you, but I have seen this, what they call the book fold. I think it's called a book fold uh, card. Okay, and um, this was actually what I really wanted to do with this particular um, paper, but then I realized it was too small, but it ended up being a happy um, um, find is that I went ahead and matted the designer series paper. And by doing that, I think it kind of gives it a more focus to this design, giving it, elevates it a little bit more. So um, I brought this, this is actually pool party, but I think if you squint your eyes a bit, um, it kind of coordinates with this Bermuda blue, a uh, Bermuda Bay. I think this is like a lighter version of the Bermuda Bay, and I think it kind of goes well. But anyway, so squint your eyes and it will co coordinate. <laughs> so anyway, so this is the card. I mean, this is all over the internet, this particular book binding uh, card. And um, it's actually very simple, uh, but it's a great way to use up your designer series paper if you're looking for um, cards that really um, enhance or highlight your designer series paper. So it's really simple. Like I tell you, I only do simple cards. So let me show you how easy it is to do. You start out with um, a um, 11 by four and a quarter. Okay, so it's half a card stock. And you just score at the five and a half, which is normal, right? Normally you would. And then the other score you want is six and a half, six and three quarters, sorry, six and three quarters, which is right here, right here. So you score, and that is it. That is the bones of this particular card. So you'll fold it here, right? And then you will, so like if you put the ribbon, I would tie the ribbon first before shutting it or gluing it down here. And uh, there you go. That's the card. So what do you think? All these are very simple. I'm using only the limited supplies that I have here while I'm traveling. And um, it just goes to show that you really don't need a lot of stuff. Or actually what it really shows is when you have a kit, you can use it to expand from it and um, do more than what it's meant to do. I guess that's the word. I always say kits are like, you know, that food channel competition where they give you a, a brown bag with ingredients that you don't know what's in there. So for um, the novice stampers in my group, um, it's a great way to learn to make cards with a template, right? Um, because once you start making the cards, then you'll go, oh, you can replicate it and duplicate it with other supplies. And now for my um, Avid stampers, use this as a challenge to use what's in the kit and do something more with it. Now with me, um, I like to keep everything within the kit. I know um, you can always bring more stuff in. Well, actually I did. I brought in more um, the cardstock, but those are basics, I think. Um, and I'm using the envelopes. So who would think that these were actually that had a previous life of being envelopes? Okay, so let's go through the cards again, um, just to show you that these all came from envelopes. So this is the new book binding. This was a card that I made um, with a global design challenge. 
this one, I had fun with making a background from my embossing folder. Again, highlighting the envelope paper. Okay. This one is using the curve of the envelope and embossing it and um, extending the pattern here. Okay. I, I'm just tickled how coordinated it has become. It's kind of like a uh, happy find, right? And of course, this really simple card, which I love, it's in the note card size, um, is something that I um, copied from Sarah Douglas, who just had this particular design on her um, video, I think Tuesday was it? And uh, you can use any kind of designer series paper and just have fun with it. And it's simple. I, I think what I would do is just do all the glue all the papers first, and then leave this blank to suit whatever the occasion that you will need, right? Okay, so which one is your favorite? Will you try to use the envelopes um, liners as designer series papers, or are you gonna stick to using them as is? There's no right or wrong answer, it's just your preference. And um, so anyway, it was a fun kit, and I really enjoyed working with it. And if you would like to try with this kit, I do have a kit class coming up. Um, shoot, I should have jotted down the date for this particular class. I think it's next, it's the Saturday, April 7th, is it? Anyway, I will confirm it and write it down, um, notate it in the description box below. But anyway, join me with this um, kit class, you can choose this as your kit and we can work through some of these samples. Of course, you know, I would definitely want you to make some of these cards because they're just gorgeous, gorgeous. But um, we can work with these as well. So be sure to let me know if you are interested in joining me with this kit class where we will make some of these cards and um, now space is limited and I also need to order the kits for you. So you must let me know ASAP if you are coming to my kit, kit together. Yep, let's kit together. But if you already have this kit, um, you're welcome to join as well. Or you can work on other kits as well. Um, it's a great way to, you know, spend two hours and just forget about all your worries and troubles and um, what you need to do and just do some self-care by exercising your creativity. How does that sound? All right. So anyway, so that's all for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me, um, whether you're watching this live with me or whether you're watching this on replay. I do appreciate your presence. So be sure to leave a comment to say hi in the comment section. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. That way you can be notified when I post another video. Um, anyway, all right, so thank you very much. Now, I did wanna let you know that this will be the last um, Monday that I'm in Mississippi. So next Monday, I, even though I try to be ambitious, but I am pretty sure I will not be able to do it because next Monday um, I will be flying and I really need to pack up everything and I don't think I will be able to make a video. But who knows, I might do something, you never know. I might challenge myself to do something. So um, just kind of a heads up that next Monday there will not be one at um, 11 a.m. Guam time. Um, I might throw something out sometime, but I'm not really sure. So please bear with me. Um, and then after that, I will be back on Guam and um, back to normal. Okay, so thank you so much again for watching and have a great week. Thank you. Bye-bye.